welcome or welcome back to another youtube video today is going to be just a regular regular vlog it's saturday i'm gonna be filming today and tomorrow i do have a lot of things that we are doing in this video i am gonna go ahead and renovate my room a little bit and i know we just did that for new year's but i'm really not doing anything crazy i'm just moving some stuff around and i'm adding a vanity in this little corner right here and i moved my bed all the way over so you know the vanity and the, the bed is not like neck and neck. I have a vanity that just came in yesterday. I'm going to put together today. I'm going to have some help, of course, because I'm just a girl. Why would I? You know? And also, I have boxes back there from Amazon full of stuff for my bathroom because I just don't like the way my bathroom looks. And it's time to upgrade her. So I have bought a bunch of stuff from Amazon. We're going to need to like run to the stores and pick up some more stuff. But for now, we're going to work what we got. And tomorrow, we'll hit the stores and go out and stuff. But I am about to go ahead and like move my stuff around, move my uh, nightstand, move my bed, make room for everything, make my bed up, vacuum. So when the vanity is done being built, we can just go ahead and bring it on in the room. The next time you guys see me, this vanity will be getting built. Alright, as y'all can see, we are currently sitting at the vanity. Ugh, I just love stuff like this, y'all. Like, this just made me so excited to learn makeup and just sit here and just, you know, beat my face. <laughs> but as y'all see, I have all my makeup and stuff on here. My new makeup, my makeup bag, brushes. We are about to set all this stuff up, get all this together. I did buy these organizers off Amazon. They will be linked in my Amazon storefront. This is like a 25 pack, I think. Yeah, this is a 25 pack. These are not all for my vanity. Let me get my scissors. Hold on. I'm also redoing my bathroom, which I told y'all about earlier. So some of these are going to go in my bathroom and some of these are going to go in my vanity. That's why I bought the 25 pack. It might be a little much, but it's better to have more than less. I really might have overdone it now that I'm sitting here looking at how much 25 looks like. This is what these look like. And then I think at the bottom, it might be full sizes. So I'm about to go ahead and move y'all down and give y'all my untouched fish and me putting all my makeup away, me getting my vanity set up, me getting her together. Alright y'all, so this is the vanity as it's finally done. This vanity is from Yida Home. I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description box for you guys if anybody is interested in purchasing this exact vanity. And I also have a discount code. You can use my code Kaya for 15% off. This is what it ended up looking like after I organized and put all my makeup in here. It actually looks really good. And even without the organizers, it would fit so much more makeup. But this vanity is very spacious. As you can see on the side, it has three more drawers. Those are super deep and they fit a lot. On the side, it actually has an extension cord and a hair dryer holder which i've never seen before it comes with a chair and this is how it looks at night with the warm light which is my favorite part i really like this vanity y'all i highly recommend 10 out of 10 as y'all know your girl has been getting into makeup so this is definitely a new fave I'm 
back. It is the next day. I didn't do anything yesterday, so we're just gonna make this video a day in my life. I never do day in my life, so I always do like week in my life, a couple days in my life, but I just want y'all to spend one regular day with me. Just one, okay? Because I don't have any of these on my channel. Like, I've never done a day in the life from morning to night. So I am getting a late start to my day. Y'all know I usually be up by like, I usually be up and out the house by like 9, 10. It is 11.52. For me, that's late. For some, it might not be. It is so windy outside. I was going to wear my hair straight down. That's why I straightened it. But it's so windy, so I had to put it in a clip so it don't mess up. I have on the ugliest outfit ever. I just look so ugly, and I'm tired. Like, it's about 70-something degrees outside, and I have no clothes. Like, everything that's in my closet, I don't like anymore. It's about time to figure out what my style is, redo my wardrobe, because nothing is given. I have on this big baggy shirt from Sheen, and it's just, it's not doing it for me. I look like, I look, all right, do y'all see the neckline? <laughs> it just, oh, I don't know. But I'm not going to let it ruin my day. I'm only about to go out for, I'm literally about to go to Walmart and come back home. I just have a few things I need to pick up. Like I told y'all, the main thing I'm be doing in this video is getting my room together, getting my bathroom together, doing that type of stuff, and then just me vlogging. Also, it's really just a day in my life, for real, for real. We are about to head to Walmart because I need some more stuff for my bathroom, and Target is just not the vibes for that type of thing. So I'm going to Walmart, and then I don't really know. We're just taking it. Little by little today, I literally have no agenda for real, for real. There is some things that I want to do, but I have no agenda, so. You guys are just going to be coming along with me for the day, so yeah. I will meet you guys at Walmart. Alright, I made it to Walmart. I'm in the bathroom section. I'm looking at the rugs. I'm not feeling it. Like, let me show you. Is this it? Oh, here we go. Hold on. This is better. I only need one, but I think we get this one. How much is it? $25 for two. Walmart is letting me down. I have this. It looks kind of small. This is the one for my sink. And I also picked up a candle. Even though I don't need it, but yeah. I need a new, sh it's hot. I look like I'm sweating. I probably am. I need a new shower in there. I needed black hand towels. I made a list, but I'm not even paying attention to it, which I actually need to be. I need two. These only $2. Come on, Target. I mean, come on, Walmart. And I wanted a black trash can. I have a white one right now. That's gray, right? I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. Okay, this one was a little bit more clean. I think that that's it. I have a soap dispenser. I bought a lot of stuff on Amazon, so I really don't need that much from Target. Um, just the hand towels, a shower liner, a rug. This candle was unnecessary. And a trash and I think I'm gonna just walk around for real, for real and spend money because I'm bored. I should look at the comforters, but I just know they're expensive. And I need to go to like, I might do that today also. Go to TJ Maxx or Ross to look for a new comforter because I have had no luck so far. I want some pajamas at Walmart too. Walmart be having cute pajamas. Do not sleep, okay? I think that's what I'm about to head next. I don't even know what I'm doing over here. Um, yeah, let's go to the pajama section and then I'm gonna find my air freshener first and then I'll meet y'all at the pajama section. All right, I'm back, y'all. I just left Ross and Marshalls in no luck. Literally, all I'm on the hunt for now is a comforter, but I cannot find one that I like and one that feels soft and smooth. And I don't know. I'm going to just stick with the one I got until I find one. I'm not necessarily in a rush because I have a comforter, and that's all that mother freaking matter. Okay, as long as I got something to cover me up at night, I'm okay. Okay? But I think I do want to go ahead and treat myself to a solo day. I have not done one in a minute, y'all. Like, I just be in the house. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. If you watch my channel, you know I'm a homebody at heart. And I'm not knocking the girls. I never gave up. You know what I'm saying? Who goes to the club and who does this and who does that? I'm not about to see him black. Like, oh, I'm such a homebody. I'll never go to the club. Genuinely, not even on no pick me type stuff because I know how it be sounding when it come out of a girl's mouth. But I am a homebody. I like being in the comfort of my home. The only time I like outside is when I'm traveling. When I when I'm traveling, you might catch me at a little club. You might catch me at a little hookah lounge. You might catch me at the bar. Okay, but when I'm not traveling, I like to be at home. Like I like to explore when I'm traveling, and that's it. Otherwise, I'm in the house. Being at home brings me comfort. Being in my room brings me comfort, and my room is my safe space, which is why I'm at home 24-7.
but I have kind of been needing to get out the house, but I've been also trying to budget. And nobody talks about how hard it is to budget, but also still enjoy yourself. Like I have been struggling and I'm not even about to let myself sit here and struggle tomorrow. I'm going out to eat, okay? Also tomorrow I'm starting 75 soft, which if you don't know, I'll get into that in the video because I'm doing a whole video of like my first week doing it. But basically, I'm going on a diet. I'm working out every single day for 75 days straight. I'm reading. I'm doing self-improvement, stuff like that. So today, I will treat myself to a little lunch out. I just thought about it. It's Sunday. The girlies is getting out of church, and they about to be at all the restaurants. The restaurants is about to be packed. I don't even want to go no more. The thought of that just made me not want to go no more. Um, maybe let's do something else. I really want to go out to eat though and today is my last day to eat out but I really want to vlog and be comfortable but if it's packed y'all I can't I can't and it's gonna be packed it's Sunday <sighs> I might just pick up something to eat on the way home my mom is cooking tonight she's making soul food she's also doing 75 soft with me she wants to do 75 hard I'm doing 75 soft so she wants to cook a nice little good meal for our last fatty greasy meal so we're having soul food for dinner but I guess I could really just pick something up real quick, real fast, and then head back to the house. Yeah. All right, y'all. We made it to the bathroom. I finished putting everything in the vanity, getting her together. Now, I did buy some stuff from Walmart, as y'all seen, from my bathroom. And I also have some stuff from Amazon in my room that I need to bring in here. But before I do any of that, I need to clean my bathroom, clean the sink, wipe down the counters, clean the toilet, clean the shower, clean the mirror, clean everything so I can bring everything in to a clean bathroom and... You know, so yeah. My theme is black and gold, as y'all seen from the stuff I got from Walmart. So I'm about to go ahead and start playing my music, cleaning this bathroom, and getting all this. I don't even have a theme right now. Like, it's just ghetto in here. So I'm gonna clean it up, and then we're going to get to adding all the new stuff that we bought in the bathroom.
right y'all i am officially done with the bathroom it has been so long it took me like over an hour and i didn't even really do nothing crazy maybe because of like all the cleaning and then decorating back to back so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what i did um it could still use a little bit more work but for now i like it i got this little black tray that came with the soap bar the soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder i got this little plant from target i also have this one in my room just a bigger version and a black toothbrush would be fine but this is literally gonna have to do for now i filled this up with some soap got a little um dove soap on here i really don't even use like bar soap at the sink i use it in the shower so this is really just for decoration and then over here it might look like a lot going on because of all the different colors i don't mind it personally but i think it's fine as it is for right now i got cotton swabs cotton pads and floss picks in these little containers i got off amazon it came with a fourth one but i just put more of these in there and put it on my vanity for when i take my makeup off i got this little corner stand from amazon i know it's a lot going on i really don't have that many products so as you can see i couldn't exactly fill it up but i use what i have the bottom has some of my serums my little pink heart face wash thingies some um caffeinated energizing eye patches i don't even use those like that but i should probably start the top just has some eyelash shampoo aquaphor black girl sunscreen and it's something back there i can't see but yeah and then i put a black rug on the floor my bathroom has like a lot of space if you get what i'm saying so i don't know please ignore my wig hanging out the cabinet i don't this seems like too small for me i might have to get like a longer one so it can kind of i don't know fill the space up but this is what it looks like and then i changed my shower curtain and it used to be white but i changed it to black and then i just have this little get naked rug that i got from amazon i just thought that was real cute and i changed the hand towels to black ignore my tripod because my hand towels were previously gray toilet i just put this little diffuser oil thingy i don't know but it's supposed to make your bathroom smell good Under, i just have ignore the plunger please and thank you i just have the little waste basket i bought this is what it looks like for now with everything that i bought recently um i am gonna add to it soon not really right now because it is what it is i like it the way it looks now i don't think it's too much i don't think it's i think it's fine so i am hot but it's also sunday and i haven't done anything sunday reset related i haven't washed clothes i haven't really straightened up my room or did nothing so i'm gonna go ahead and do a load of laundry um do the laundry straighten up my room vacuum it again even though i just did it yesterday it doesn't look like i vacuumed at all um just get my room together for the week um because i did move some stuff around like i told y'all i'm gonna show you how it looks later tonight and then how the vanity looks at night because the lights are gonna look a lot brighter and it's just it's gonna come together at night so while we wait i'm going to wash clothes clean my room take a shower and probably eat dinner because I think dinner is ready but I'm gonna wait to eat until I finish everything so it could just be like relaxing and we're gonna do some self-care tonight so yeah let's go ahead and y'all can see me sweating it's not oil boo <laughs> let's go ahead and finish cleaning up and I will see y'all a little bit later go ahead and plan for march it is march 2nd or 3rd and i have nothing on this calendar i just wiped away february so now we're gonna plan for march write down our goals this month like i told you i am doing 75 soft me and my mom and i also asked one of my friends to do it with me and she said yes so i have all the motivation i need i have people doing it with me so i don't feel like i'm doing it alone my mom is actually doing 75 hard I'm doing 75 soft because I know how I am. I know I'm not going to stick with 75 hard. I know it's going to be too hard for me. 
and I just know how I am. I suck at getting into a routine and I'm just like really going into it. I feel like 75 Soft is a lot more, it's still challenging, but it's a lot more easier for somebody like me who procrastinates a lot. So I'm starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. I waited till Monday to start. I was going to start March 1st, but I'm like, let me have the weekend to get myself together, get right. And I am going to add my own twist to it. So I'm going to show y'all. This is the screenshot I have of the difference of 75 soft and 75 hard. I'm doing everything on here, but I'm adding other things to help me become a better person, save more money, just like stuff like that. So 75 soft is eating well and only drinking alcohol during special occasions. Me, I probably won't drink any alcohol for the next 75 days. I, I don't know if y'all know this, but I literally only drink on vacation. I don't drink alcohol. I mean, I drink sometimes when I go out to eat or something like that, but I don't just be in a house taking shots. Drink three liters of water per day. That's simple. I can do that. Exercise 45 minutes per day for 75 days straight. And it says one active recovery day per week. 10 pages of any reading per day. So I, every day for 75 days, I have to read at least 10 pages. I'm not going to do 10 pages a day. I'm not going to limit myself at least as the minimum, but the goal is to read and then the last thing is no progress pictures required because for 75 hard you have to take a picture of yourself every single day it is about to be a rough 75 days thank god though it does end right before summer but i'm really really hoping i can stick to it and i really hope i can be consistent i just hope and pray because i really want better for myself i want to start working on myself i want to start being more productive i want to start getting in the gym i'm about to go ahead and plan for march and write down my goals i really want to hit 50k on youtube it's not impossible to do because i'm like by the time i post this i should be at 45k so i should be about 5,000 subscribers away from 50k but on average i like when i'm consistent and stuff on average i average about like three to four thousand new subscribers a month when i'm consistent if not it's only like a thousand so i feel like that might be pushing it but i feel like it's a good thing to push myself if i don't hit it it's fine whatever i know for a fact i'll hit it in april so we're gonna write 50k on youtube as my goal i can't i don't really have any other social media goals because y'all know my tiktok is gone i really don't care to get it back and i kind of want to speak on that i know i'm be talking a lot in this ne in these next couple clips but why i don't really want to get tiktok back anymore i used to love tiktok i used to love making tiktoks and now it's getting to a point where i don't even want to scroll on tiktok anymore because every time i scroll i see the same stuff and please bear with me i'm not saying none of this is bad i'm let me explain social media now is not even posting content anymore it's everybody trying to be strategic it's everybody trying to oh how can i grow how can i make money it's everybody everybody has a strategy behind it nobody it seems like is posting for content anymore like we're not getting content every time i scroll down my 40 pages how to hit 100k how to make 100k on social media in a year how to do this how to do that how to do this how to become the next monet michael monet mcmichael whatever the girl name is what has what has happened does nobody want to make content just for the fact to make content anymore i just feel like social media i mean not social media on youtube i don't feel like it's that way like on youtube i see the girls posting their vlogs i see the day-to-day -day life i see what i want to see on youtube but on TikTok, I just see everybody being strategic. Nobody's making like regular content anymore. It's very much forced and that's why I'm kind of straying away from TikTok. Like I don't even really want to watch TikTok some more. Like I'm kind of over it. On the outside looking in as a non-content creator, you see somebody, you see how much money they make, you see how good they do, you see what it can bring. So of course, you know, you're motivating. You're like, oh, okay, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. But what we have to understand is everything doesn't need to be forced. Everything doesn't need to be strategic. Just have fun with it. The people who do have fun with it are the people who are making it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with teaching people how to grow. But what a lot of people have to understand, if you want to be a content creator, be yourself. That's the biggest thing. Like when people ask me, how did I grow? I can't give you any advice because, and it's not even me gatekeeping or being mean or hiding. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I posted a video. It did good. Maybe it's luck. Maybe it's not. But I feel like there's no how to become a content creator. There's no how to blow up overnight. There's no how to if you're not being yourself, if you're not coming in this with like being genuine. There's no, I don't know. Like at the end of the day, I just want us to get back to making content and content to be fun again. You know what I'm saying? But enough of that because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want to start no arguments. That's just my opinion and that's how I am with TikTok right now. Do I plan on getting it back? No time soon. Eventually, maybe depending on how I'm feeling. Like I don't even, I don't know. Like YouTube, 
I was at a rough patch with YouTube a while ago. Like I was like, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. But YouTube is YouTube is meant for me. I don't care what nobody says. YouTube is meant for me. I'm meant for this. You guys are here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. That's just what it is. But I wrote out um the days, and I'm about to go ahead and plan. And once I finish, we are gonna go ahead and uh do the habit tracker on my phone, so we can start preparing for 75 sauce. So. All right, so I just downloaded this app and I actually did have to pay for it, but it's okay. It's only $7 a month, which is actually kind of crazy, but when I could just, okay, whatever. But the app is called Every Day. This is what it looks like. I typed in habit tracker on the app store and this is what came up. So I'm just going in and adding my habits that I need to do and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when it comes together. So habit, workout, every day, 45 minutes. What else? Oh, read 10 pages a day. Um, what else is on there? Eat well. I mean, yeah, I guess I could put that as a habit to make sure I'm eating well. Wake up at 7.30 a.m., work out every day, read 10 pages a day, eat well, strict budget, and three liters of water per day. I am super excited. I feel like I'm finally taking control. Like, it's only 75 days, but also 75 days is a long time, but I feel like it's long overdue. I have been so lazy. I have been so unproductive. I have not been, you know, putting any effort in at all. And I feel like I owe myself just 75 days at least to try to get my shit together, try to lock in, try to be the best version of myself I can possibly be. The thing I'm thinking about is just imagining me after like yeah my body will be physically changed because i'll be working out every single day for 75 days yeah face might slim down stomach might slim down butt might be a little plump but the self-improvement like that is discipline imagine after 75 days of discipline the person you become tomorrow i'm starting my weekly vlog and y'all are gonna see like the first week of me doing it me grocery shopping me cooking me working out y'all are gonna see everything Okay, so my content might be a little bit different from here on out because I am really focused on self-improvement. I'm focused on me. And then by the time summer comes, it's act bad season because I have a trip. I have a trip right after 75 South is over. Yeah, it's act bad season. So we are preparing for act bad season. Period. So I'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower, do my skincare, do all that. And then I'm going to come back and come check in with y'all. So... fresh out the shower i just put on some eye patches it's just giving like that girl night routine it's just giving you know <laughs> but my room is clean my space is clean i feel good my bathroom is clean redecorated <sighs> it's just a good night i'm about to eat it is currently 603 <sighs> when i tell y'all i'm about to bust down okay but i want to show you my room at nighttime and how the vanity looks and stuff my bed placement is so weird like do y'all see this corner right here this is going to be an issue for me because there's nothing here and it's just so it stole me off i had to move my bed my bed was like in the middle but i had to move it all the way over so there'll be space in between the vanity because if i left my bed it would have been no space i got this candle going this smells so good i bought this from walmart early i'm gonna show y'all how it looks with the lights off first this is how the vanity looks at night. This stuff with makeup, as y'all seen, it really, like, she's really a makeup girl. She's in her makeup bag. I did move some stuff around from when I showed y'all earlier, so this is what it looks like in here. In here, I just have some, um, some extra stuff. I just have some eye patches, some beauty blenders, some makeup brushes, makeup wipes, my cellar wall. In this drawer, I put some hair stuff, my bonnet, my scarf, a brush, some, uh, wig bands, some... What are these called? Claw clips. And then the last drawer, I don't know what I'm putting in there. So it's not sealed up. But 
I really like this warm light. It's just, and then the last setting is just like a light version of the first one. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and take these eye patches off and warm up dinner because it's been ready for like an hour and I just haven't ate. So that's what I'm about to do. I probably share my food once I warm it up. So yeah. I just finished eating. I think that's the last I talked to y'all. I forgot to show y'all because I was, I was too hungry. I was going in. But that is the end of my day. It's literally like 7.30. Not even. Yeah, it is 6.45. But as y'all know, tomorrow I'm starting 75 soft. And one of the things I added into it for me is waking up at 7.30 a.m. every morning. So it is about time to settle down for the night. I probably won't go to sleep anytime soon. To be honest with y'all, I'm just laying down. And I'll probably be editing. I'm working on the thumbnail right now. Period. So once I finish the thumbnail, then I'll probably edit the actual video itself. And y'all the girls what's today say sunday the girls have blessed youtube today like so many of my faves have posted Rajay posted barbie k and right now i'm currently watching gabby's video on my tv the girls have dropped on youtube i have something to watch while i edit i love that because youtube has been so dry lately also put me on to some smaller youtubers preferably don't get me wrong i feel like i already know all the big youtubers i think that's what the issue is i already know beta i already know Alyssa. i've already heard of mckenna walker i've already heard of diera like all these people i've already heard of and i might watch them i might not you know what i'm saying so i really want to find new content creators to watch preferably small or people who you know may not be out there yet you might not really hear of too much because I, I literally already know everybody i'm gonna close this video out it was just a little day in my life since i never really do them for real for real so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next video